I hear it time and time again. I've had my seed potatoes delivered in January or February. What do I do with them now? Well, in this episode, I'm going to show you exactly how to look after your seed potatoes and get them ready for planting and what to do to keep them in good condition before you plant. I'm Tony O'Neill, this is UK Year We Grow, and on this channel we deal with all things gardening, poultry keeping and beekeeping. If you want that perfect garden to relax in or just want to grow your own nutrient dense foods, then start now by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified each time I release new content just like this. We all know that we have to pre-order our seed potatoes, and if we want to be guaranteed of getting them, it has to be before Christmas. The drawback with this though is that the seed companies send them out usually in January or February because they want them out of their warehouses so that they don't lose the crop. The issue with this is that it gets sent on to gardeners and a lot of people don't even know what to do with them. We've seen it all before. Right across the country, time and time again, you go into a garden centre and you see bag upon bag of seed potatoes all shriveled up and they have got really long shoots where they've been searching for the light. So what can we do to ensure that we keep our seed potatoes pristine until planting time? Now before I get into the nitty gritty, I want to tell you about a video I did last autumn or fall. And that was about storing seed potatoes. And I'm going to put a link in the cards or down in the description uh, for you to be able to go and view that video. The reason I mention this is because the quality of the seed potato is all governed about the way it is stored. So storing is the most important part of getting quality seed potato. So seed potatoes are kept in cold store, usually between 1 and 3 degrees Celsius or 34 to 38 Fahrenheit. Now the issue with this is that when they are brought out of that cold store the seed is brought out of its dormancy and it then goes to a warehouse waiting for your order and then that's shipped on to your centrally heated home and of course this seed now thinks winter is over and it starts to germinate so when the seed potato is brought out of storage it's already awoken from its slumber and it starts to spring into life and then it comes to you so it's really important that you check your potatoes and all this means is put them out to sprout. So what about these potatoes that you've already bought and have these long spindly shoots? What can you do with them? Well, if you planted them, they would probably grow. The problem is you're unlikely to be able to do that at the moment. It's the end of February and there's frost likely right the way up until May. So with that in mind, you need to chit them as normal. The first thing you need to do is snap those long shoots off and then chit them as described. So how to chit them? Well, ideally you want to be looking at chitting them six to eight weeks before you want to plant them out. Simply take a seed potato, look for the eyes and the rows and place the rows down the eyes up in a cardboard egg box or a plastic tray. When you've filled your trays, simply put them in a bright location. Ideally, you want to put them in a south-facing window and keep them as close to 3 degrees C or 38 Fahrenheit as possible. By doing that, you're going to get really good, stout, dark little shoots that will be perfect when it comes to planting out time. As mentioned earlier, I keep a lot of my own seed potatoes. And in the video that's going to be in the description below, I showed you multiple methods of storing potatoes and I just want to show you how well these potatoes have come through. There is no long shoots on either of these potatoes that are being stored and it doesn't matter on the variety or the size of the potato. The reason I made that video was to show you guys that collecting your own seed is a really good way and the reason for that is the dormancy of these potatoes hasn't been broken like shop-bought potatoes and this way I can keep these in storage indefinitely until I want to plant them. For those of you who have been viewers of the channel for a while you will know that I run all sorts of experiments when it comes to potatoes and last year I ran the ground versus container experiment and that doubled the yield over the ground 
and I talked to you in that video about why containers are better than the ground and I give you all the reasons and the results so I'll put a link in the description and the cards up here so that you're able to go and view that video because that's a must watch if you want to grow potatoes this year by planting in containers you get to control when you sow your seed because you haven't got to worry about mother nature you can plant them in the bucket and when it's a lovely day like today they can be outside but when you know there's a frost do pull them back in bring them indoors into a polytunnel a greenhouse or even a conservatory and if we are going to have a heavy frost in a polytunnel or greenhouse just cover them over with a couple of layers of fleece if the heads have poked through it's as simple as that now i know you folks in the usa struggle sometimes when we talk about first early second early and main crop potatoes because you use a different format but the easiest way for me to explain that to you is that first early potatoes take 10 to 12 weeks to mature second earlies take 12 to 14 weeks to mature and main crop takes 16 to 20 weeks to mature that's all dependent on the variety of potato now what i would suggest if you want to grow potatoes this year get across to our potato playlist i'll put a link in the description below and in there there are tons of potato videos that are going to show you all the best ways that i know of growing potatoes and you'll see how successful they are too so now there should be no mistake on how to keep your seed potatoes in the best possible condition before planting the secrets have been revealed and now you can go out and grow a fantastic crop of potatoes this year question of the day how many of you are going to be growing potatoes this year and what varieties are you growing let me know in the comments section below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you've learned something from this video hit the subscribe button here and to continue the journey you can click the next video over here I'm Tony O'Neill, this is UK Year We Grow, and remember folks, you reap or you sow. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.